Okay, hi. Again, I'm Bob the Fail Guy. I have the pleasure of being here with Paul, Head of Product Development with Unidin's Scanner and CB Technology. We have a really special treat for you guys. Uh, this is a new product called the SDS 100. It is a uh, high-end digital, the significant uh, digital processing on this unit. And I'm going to, you know, I'm not really into the no scanners as much, uh, but I'm going to defer to you and please educate us as to what this piece is going to do. I will say you're in the majority of ours, so not a lot of people are into, into this. Tina Smith from Butter Travel. You won a lot of gas right. from Homer from Rack This is live. Uh, information. Welcome to the convention. Welcome to the convention. Okay, go ahead. Very good. And, and Scott, you might want to just zoom in on the product a little bit. Mm -hmm. Talking to my cameraman and coworker. So, what this is is this. Todd Bigelow from Westwind Truck Stop. Please report to the Sirius XM booth for an onyx response. I'll, I'll, I'll be doing some editing on this. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. So, this has a color display. A lot of things are obviously changed. A color display, you can change the colors. You're not stuck with what I picked. It has a lot of information in the display. All of that, you can change. You can put the things that you want to see. We get a lot of, oh, I want to see the talk group ID. Oh, I want to see the frequency. If you want to see it, you can put it on there. If you want to see something else, you know, do what you want. That's on the outside. It also has all of the features of the BCD 436. So it has a full database of USA and Canada. You can program it by just putting in your zip code. You can hook up a GPS so that it'll automatically know exactly which channels to scan. But the real changes were in the RF design. Some of you may be old enough to remember I'll that. From we'll transition with a fade. Yeah. <laughs> so some of you may remember when you had to put a crystal in for each channel. Riley Patterson from Bygar yeah. Travel. You've won a Cobra 29 LS Max TV radio. Ooh, whoa. Your Love it when they talk about the competition when we're on the air. <laughs> so you used to have to put a crystal in for each channel. Then in the Oh, early 80s, they developed the technology where you could just program it with a channel, program it with your frequency. That was a big technological shift. This is much bigger technology-wise, but you can't see it from the outside. Everything comes in, the RF signal comes in, goes through some filters, goes into a chip. From there on in, all the RF is handled digitally. What that lets us do is be much more, much better at recovering certain types of signals. So areas where you have a weak signal, areas where you have a signal that has interference, digital signals there, just we're able to capture much better. So the, the upshot is, is it works a heck of a lot better than any of our older models and anything else out there on the market. So and this is a, a real paradigm shift in uh, RF signal processing. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, some, of, some of your technical guys may be familiar with SDR, software defined radio. Yes. That's... And, that is the technology that we're using, similar to the chips that are used in those SDR dongles that you can okay, buy. Okay, that's all I need now. Okay. And, and this, is anybody else doing this? Nobody. So this is like cutting edge right. stuff. Now, commercial radios that cost three, four thousand dollars. Yeah, they do use that on a limited band. So, but this does. Ali Reader, T A U G. I made a mistake. You actually won a unit in. Air tracker CB radio. There we go. There right. you the go. Letter. I'll let her talk. We're going to leave that in. Yeah. I don't remember what I was saying. Um, no, you were talking about the S, the commercial radios. Right. The, the now, two. But they're, they, they have just a very narrow band that they use. This has a wide band from 25 megahertz to 1.3 gigahertz. And again, this is digital and analog? Yes. All good stuff, trunk track, all that stuff. All trunk tracking, everything. All the digital systems that are used now, as long as it's not encrypted, you can pretty much get Fabulous, and instead of thousands of dollars, you're We're, getting this for six forty nine retail. That's right, and it, it'll be out in June. June, great. Right. One other thing too, since it's a lot of software, uh, Paul was just telling me that they just came out with a new firmware. It's not even released yet, and they're updating this. So uh, you're going to be off. You know, if it's weekly on these other units, is it possible you're going to have changes at least to the GPS related stuff? On well, that frequency, or is it going to so, be so the database, no pun intended. Sure, the database we update every week. 
Now the firmware, the operating system. Yes. We update that if there's a bug or if we come out with a new feature. You know, mm -hmm. we take care of it. We're, we're doing that for our other models as well. Right, and we we've already seen how good Uniden is. Uh, their commitment to the uh, unit in R1 and R3 radar detectors. And you guys have listened to the community, uh, very much engaged, and quickly come up with uh, updates that are not only uh, uh, fix issues, uh, which are not many, but also incorporate many of the requests that the consumer is more. Right. So, if you want to find me online, go to radioreference.com. There are discussion forums about scanners. I'm up, man. I think I have close to 20,000 posts. I'm very active out there. A lot of knowledgeable people there other than me as well. Very good. Well, I wish you luck with that and uh, wonderful new technology. And we're looking forward to it. Maybe I'll, I'll get into this space myself. And, you know, it's another thing in the arsenal. That's right. I'll put it to you somehow. I have a new customer. Okay. Thank you. Guys, thank you, Scott, for doing this behind the camera.